Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. Somebody sent me this file. They're making a puzzle for evidently a really small child. My question is the puzzle's 52 inches or 50, 58 inches. This was 50. So, but if I've already done this one here, if you take out, if you make all these hairlines and make them red, we're gonna go ahead and make them hairlines. If you cut out this piece, it's still gonna cut out the other pieces. So you need to get rid of those extra joints, as I would say, call it. Uh, it's, and because of the fact if you're gonna cut this out like of a cardstock paper, it's gonna cut that twice and it's gonna be a little bit too much heat. So what we can do is take it, each individual piece and look at this um, shape and don't worry about the outside. We're gonna go and we're gonna get both those nodes, right click and break it apart. Then we can delete that line with the virtual segment delete key. We need to do the same thing all the way around. You know, just grab, you could probably do all of them at one time, break the curve apart, take the virtual segment delete key, and see, we can rebuild that spot, you know, without too much trouble. Uh, just trying to think where I'm at here. We're gonna take this piece and nudge it up. I don't need to nudge it that far. Let's set our nudge factor on like 10. Nudge this piece up. And that's not going to be far enough. So let's make it 12. Let's, let's put it back. Let's click off of it and make the nudge factor 12. Now we're going to take that shape and put it there. So we need to get rid of these two lines and basically the outside line. Really and truly, we could get rid of this entire piece. Let's just hit delete. We don't need that piece. We don't need that piece. We don't need that piece. Well, we do need that piece because I've already deleted the other one. Don't need that. Yeah, we do. So there we go. I'm deleting pieces that we do not need. We don't need that outside shape. We do need the rest of these. Uh, I just did this earlier. and There we go. No, we need those pieces. Don't need that piece. Need that piece. Now what you need to do, and... And it all depends, you know, if you're working with paper, uh, you'd want to do this. We can take our virtual segment delete key and you can't just delete the lines, you can some of them. But what we have to do is take the shape tool, select both these outside nodes, right click and turn them into, break them apart, then get the virtual segment delete key and delete that line. You can test it, but see if it's gonna do that, you can't do that. Grab the shape tool, grab those two pieces, right click, convert it to a curve, virtual segment, delete key, and delete that line. Sometimes on the corner, it'll work, but that time it didn't. So just grab your shape tool, select those nodes. You could actually maybe hold down the shift key and select though all the, well, I've deselected that one now. So really you can only do two at a time, right click, break curve apart, take that. We don't need that line, that should go good. That worked, that didn't work. So we're gonna to have to grab the shape tool, just select those two nodes or right click and break them apart and then do that. Just a couple more, see it's deleting too much. So shape tool, click on your item, grab the two, right click, break apart, virtual segment delete key. And I think we've got them all. Now what we can do is test this and see we've got, that's perfect. That doesn't have a shape. That's perfect. I think we've got them all. So now what you can do, well, I got one more line here. Grab the shape tool, we're gonna have to zoom in. Grab these two nodes, really there's four, right click. And see there, I, I just didn't delete it. It was already broken apart. Now, remember it was 50 inches. So control G to group them together and just hit P just in case, and then draw a rectangle and make it 50 with your ratio lock, change that to 50 and then hit P. There's your puzzle. It'll cut the outside and you could actually have it cut the outside last. 
And all I did for the gentleman that's doing that before I started with your puzzle, I just took your puzzle and I'm going to hit P, put it in the center of the page. <clears throat> this is all grouped together, so I'm just going to hit P. And then I selected both of them and intersect. That's how I trimmed your puzzle. And then you could left click. And that, that even worked out pretty cool because it's missing some of the factors. There's our, well, I had to right click to put the items back. And then you just start deleting, once you ungroup it, start deleting the ones you don't need. Hope that made a little bit of sense. It'll save you a little laser time. Uh, if you're just doing one puzzle and you're doing it out of wood, it probably wouldn't be justify the time it's going to take to correct it. But if you're doing it on like a, let's say you, you post, you printed this out and it's a photograph and you're doing it on a cardstock and it's glued to the pictures, you wouldn't want to cut the lines but one time because you don't want to mess up your paper when it cut that twice. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.